Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be using my gel polishes from Model One's Santa's Day collection to create this set of nails. I'm gonna go in with the Christmas tree. This is a really nice deep green. It reminds me of that kind of, that racing green color, the, you know, the old, the old minis that used to be like racing green color. That's what it reminds me of. Um, I'm gonna go in with two coats of this. I'm making sure my coats are thin. Um, I'm not, not necessarily with model ones, but with gel polish in general, if you make the coats too thick, they can wrinkle under the lamp um, and you don't really want that to happen. So keep your coats thin. It does cover nicely in two coats. Look, this is two coats done. It looks gorgeous. Someone asked me in a previous video if Model 1's gel polish have a nice tacky layer. They have a really nice tacky layer, so don't worry about that. Um, these little mini tinsels, this is the green one. They're so cute. These are from Nail Sugar. They're not available on the website just yet. I think they're going to be live on the website tomorrow. Um, they come in all different colours but I'm just using the green ones to create the look of our Christmas tree. Now, initially I was only gonna put like a few on, but I ended up covering the whole nail and I swapped over to my little dusty brush, not dusty brush, my little soft brush. And I'm gonna dip that straight into the pot of tinsels. And then I'm just gonna pat that all over that sticky shit, <laughs> all over the tacky layer. And, and then when I've covered the whole nail completely, I will just rub my brush over the top like this. And that is what I'm gonna do to all the nails. Um, these mini tinsels, I absolutely love. I've just fallen in love with them. Um, so yeah, they'll be on the website on Friday. Um, if you do, the, the website is now open. Um, Karen was moving, so she had to close the website for a week um, so that she could get all her stuffs moved um but the website is now open and um, if you want to place an order with nail sugar use code natmug10 and you will get yourself 10 percent off your whole order so back to the nails i've just cleaned up around the cuticle area with my gel brush and then i thought i'd see what it looked like matte top coated because yeah i just i just wondered this was just out of curiosity i just thought i'm gonna see what it looks like matte so i'm just gonna yeah, if you get any tinsels on your brush, just make sure you clean your brush before you pop it back in your bottle. So how cool does that look? That looks like, that really looks like a Christmas tree. I freaking love that. I'm so glad I tried to matte top coat it. Um, so I'm gonna matte top coat all the other nails while I'm there. And look at that, oh my God, a Christmas tree on your fingers. That looks cool just like that. <laughs> But because it's a Christmas tree, we need to add baubles and decorations and stuffs. So I'm going to go in with the Jingle Bells uh, gel polish and um, gift socks. These are glittery gel polishes. I feel like all baubles need to have some kind of sparkle or glitter on them. So that is why we're using those two. So this is the gift socks and the Jingle Bell. I don't know why I showed you those twice. <laughs> Hey ho. Right, I'm gonna go on each nail and create a round red bauble using the Gift Socks gel polish. I like this one because it's got a nice little sort of like glittery shimmer in it. And I do just flash cure each one. As I go. Sorry, my heating's just come on. And it's not even bloody hot. Uh, cold. I'm going to turn that down. Right. Then I'm going to go in with the um, Jingle Bell glitter polish. Gel polish, not glitter. And I'm going to create another bauble. But this one's going to have a pointy bum. How random am I telling you about my heating? <laughs> anyway. Um, so, we're, yeah. So, all it is is we're going to make like another round circle bauble but we're gonna put like a point at the bottom. So they're just really easy to do. And I'm gonna cure those in the lamp. I'm using Edelweiss gel polish. This is a nice white gel polish from Model Ones. And I'm just gonna trace around the baubles. And I'm gonna add some sort of some decoration. So I'm gonna add them on in a curved line so that it gives it more of a 3D effect. 
and then I'm just going to put some crosses in between those lines that I created on the center of that ball ball. Looks a bit like a cricket ball. <laughs> I'm going to put some dots on as well. It's just not cricket. Is that what they say? Or tenet? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking shit now. Right, so I'm going to just flash cure that. And I'm going to go around the gold one, making sure I give it that pointed bum bum. I make a bit of a mess there, but I do go in in a minute and clean it up with my gel brush. So I've dipped my gel brush into a little bit of alcohol and I'm just going to get off the majority of it. I just want it a bit damp and I'm just going to clean up that line. And then again, I'm going to go in with a little bit of decoration it was really fiddly because they were really small <laughs> so I'm going to do that on all the baubles and then I'll cure them in the lamp and then I think I've got some jingle what have I got oh no I've got top coat I'm going to top coat the baubles but literally just the baubles make sure you don't go onto the tinsels because you want the tinsels to stay matte so to create a little bit of height on the baubles, if you hold the nail upside down for, a, I don't know, about 10 seconds before you cure it and then shove it under the lamp, um, you'll get a little bit of height on those baubles. I'm going to create those, you know, you get those beads that go on trees, those little, uh, like, um, it's like, do you know what I mean? The, the beads that hang on the trees. I'm going to create some, some of those. So I'm just going in with a jingle belt gel polish and I'm just creating some random lines. You can put them anywhere you want, doesn't matter. Make sure you don't make them thick though, they need to be nice thin lines. And then you're going to take a dotting tool and you're going to dip that into that jingle belt gel polish and then you're going to just follow the, the line along with um, the dotting tool to make like the beads do you know what I mean the beads yeah I'm sure you know what I mean so I'm gonna do that on all of the lines that I created I try and get it under the lamp as quickly as I can because I don't want the gel polish to spread I want you to see that they are individual beads it's hard to see at the minute you'll see it better at the end when I do the close-up <coughs> so I've got some top coat again on my little mirror palette and all I'm going to do is just put some little blobs where I've put the beads on the, the row of beads. So don't worry too much because I am going to add some detail on, but I'm not going to top coat it. I will just wipe off the tacky layer with some isopropyl alcohol. You can't see what I'm doing here because as per usual, at some point in my video, I have to go out of shot. <laughs> oh my God, excuse the state of my nails. I've been picking at them. Oh my god i'm so bad right now i'm just gonna add some you can add bows and stuff like i'm just gonna add one bow on here just to show you i don't know why but i never i never really put bows on my baubles but i i just do lines going off the top of the bauble to the to the cuticle end of the nail um i'm also gonna add some little white lines um in kind of curves just randomly this is using the edelweiss gel polish so i do keep flash curing um, when i'm happy and then i'm just going to add some little beads on the white ones just not everywhere just you know randomly and I'm going to do that all over the nails. And this is what they look like at the minute. So I'm going to get some alcohol on a lint-free wipe. And I'm just going to wub, wub, <laughs> wub off the just that tacky layer, that sticky shit off the wrist. I've got to stop saying that. That's going to be like in my head now. Yeah, so if you just wipe that sticky layer off. So you can see what it looks like hollow before it dries but I still prefer it matte I do love hollow but I think just I think for this set it needed to be matte 
with the baubles shiny. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to show you a close up. Here they are. I really love these. I think these are fantastic. <laughs> just blow my own trumpet. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I just like this set is all. I hope you did as well. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget you can get 10% off Nail Sugar and the Santa Day collection following the links below. And I'll see you all tomorrow.